The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. Imagine this scenario. You're on the job and you get hurt in a car accident that was not your fault. Do you have a worker's comp claim, an auto accident claim, or both? Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law is here to answer that question. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Margaret. Um, I'm guessing you have both cases, right? Talk to us about that. Yes, you have both cases, and it's very important that they're handled by an experienced personal injury attorney that understands workers' compensation law and automobile accident law because they work together, and you need to be able to, to have the experience of both of those professions working for you like we have here at Smith Injury Law. And people who try to handle their own cases, you say they can make mistakes because there are so many variables to consider, and even the order in which you settle the cases matters. Absolutely. You cannot settle the auto accident case first and close out the claim without protecting the workers' compensation lien. And sometimes people don't even realize that there has been a workers' compensation lien because they didn't bring the workers' comp claim, but the, some of the bills were paid for by the workers' comp carrier. And if you settle with the auto carrier without resolving the lien, then you could be responsible personally for that lien. The big takeaway here is that an experienced workers' comp and personal injury attorney can do things to make sure more of that settlement ends up in your pocket, right? Absolutely. Even if you don't fully pursue the workers' comp claim, you want to at least get them to pay your medical bills because you're not limited by insurance coverage limits like you are on a car car accident case, for example. Mm -hmm. And they have a right to get paid back part of their money in a workers' compensation lien so it's not really hurting your employer by bringing the workers' compensation claim. A lot of times it's being brought without, without your knowledge because if you report the accident, they're going to file it on the workers' comp. So you don't want to mess around and lose benefits from the workers' compensation claim or make a mistake and uh, not protect the rights of the workers' compensation carrier or elect your remedy. There's all kinds of mistakes you can make if you're unrepresented. And, and you can help people through all of them. At Smith Injury Law, your practice areas include personal injury, workers' compensation, car and truck collisions, and social security disability claims. Anything else you want people to know about uh, working with you or your practice before we let you go? Just that when you work with us, we're going to take care of you. You're going to be working with either myself or my partner, Scott Becky, and our staff. You can always meet with us in person or over the phone. We are still doing uh, signups by internet because of COVID, but you can also come in the office and meet with us. Uh, we uh, practice all the CDC guidelines, but we're also available to talk to you about your case. We want you to understand that we're here for you. We're not just somebody that you see on TV. You actually get to talk to us and work with us personally on the cases. Absolutely. People love that personal attention. They can contact you by calling 300 Hurt or visiting 300hurt.com. Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Margaret.